All right, what is going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. We are right here in Georgetown, Washington, DC. We're actually right by uh, the Exorcist stairs where they filmed it. And um, what we're doing here actually is I wanna show you all FSD beta version 11.3.4. I just received this a couple of days ago. And this is my first time using it here in downtown DC. And we're actually going to be getting onto the key bridge here. So I want to show you how V11 is working today, what sort of updates it's brought, um, and, and how we're doing today. So here we go. We actually got to wait over for this Tesla here in the way, but we're going to use FSD to get around them, which we did a good job doing. All right. so. We are in Georgetown, this is M Street, so if you continue straight, this is like a great destination to come out to on the weekends. If the weather is nice, there's a, a beautiful waterfront up here. Um, great place to have lunch. And as soon as you cross over this bridge, you're in Northern Virginia. As you can see, we are that close. Um, that's Arlington on one side of the bridge and Washington DC on the other side of the bridge. So what we're doing now is we're gonna be crossing over the F Francis Scott Key Bridge, which everyone calls it the Key Bridge. There's a there's about three main bridges that I use getting into the city. Um, that's the, the Memorial Bridge, which is basically Route 66, which takes you right into Washington, D.C. Then there's this Key Bridge here, uh, which is, um, you know, right through Roslyn, so you know Wilson, and for any of the locals, it goes right into M Street. And then the last one I use is the 395 bridge, so it's another way into the city. So here we go. Version 11, we are city hopping. We're going from, actually, I wouldn't say state hopping, it's more like district hopping. But yeah, um, it's a really nice view over here. Uh, while you're on the key bridge, you get to see all of Roslyn. If you peek to your right, this is like the Potomac River, which leads into like Great Falls, Virginia. Um, in the springtime, summertime, beautiful place to go hiking, catch some um, waterfalls out there. You can get on the kayak over there, really cool stuff. So really excited for the spring, summertime here in Northern Virginia. It's kind of like our prime season. We don't really get much other than that. It tends to be pretty cold in our area. But yeah, so as you can see with the sign ahead, welcome to Virginia. And uh, to our right here is George Washington Memorial Highway, which video coming soon, next time I get on that road, because it used to actually operate with Navigate on autopilot, which is no longer. So we are now using FSD beta on the highway, which is honestly like, um, me feeling like I'm living in the future because since I got this car I've been talking about FSD on the highway so it's here now you know I, I used it today and it's, it's flawless I mean there's still interventions you know it's not perfect but it's gotten a lot better trust me when I say it's gotten better it's smarter it's making better decisions I mean it's not perfect you don't ever I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna ever get to a point where I want the computers making all the decisions for me You know, like I think it's the when I get to the point where the computer makes the same decision that I do That's where I'm really comfortable with it. Like it's more like an automation at that point All right, let's see if FSD stops for this guy. It did. Let's go. I just want to make a fully stop Oh, no, no, but the other guys are going So we're just gonna continue it he, he was smart for not going because the people next to me decided to go, but FSD saw him, so I wanted to stop too. You know, that's the thing, you know, we, we kind of learn from each other. As uh, the computer system is learning from all the humans inputting, the humans are actually learning about how FSD works. And at the same time, it's like a win-win situation because I become more aware as a driver there's River Place, by the way. I used to live over there. It's a really nice neighborhood. But I, I really see lots of benefits. Um, it's a fun neighborhood, I would say. I like I like that place. It's the River Place. Uh-oh, Jeep broken down over here. No good. Uh-oh, looks like he ran into that sign. Wow. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I wish I got that on camera. No, not really, but I, it looks like that wasn't a fun situation for that gentleman, but that made for a pretty interesting meme, though. The, the sign was like, <laughs> and the Jeep was. Anyways, uh, the other day, Tesla released the Cybertruck crash test. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it. It's the most amazing 30 second video Tesla ever released. I think it's better than any trailer that Marvel Studios ever came out with. I don't know if they hired some people from Mar Marvel Studios to come up with this Cybertruck crash test video because, oh my god, I watched that video for like an hour yesterday. No, I'm exaggerating, but honestly, I, I, I watched it like four times thinking that it was going to happen, but I thought that was like a great April Fool's joke coming from Tesla because really what they're trying to show is they're close. The Cybertruck is coming, people. Not just that, they're already crash testing it. If they're crash testing the car, the truck, whatever you want to call it, then that means it's coming. It's really close. I think they're, they're keeping it under the wraps because of all the speculation and they don't want the wrong information getting out, say for someone like me, starts reporting on the Cybertruck and I have no information about the Cybertruck yet, I started reporting on it based on information that I read online, I think is kind of not smart. So you won't hear me reporting on the Cybertruck until I get one. <laughs> and when I get one, then yes, coming to you live from the Cybertruck will be the uh, um, name of my channel probably. I'll probably change it at that point. So yeah, as you can see, FSD is doing great. Um, V11 all the way. Uh, not just that, imagine when the Cybertruck comes out, it'll be, sh it'll ship with V11 or better. So that, <coughs> that's pretty, pretty cool to know. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope everyone watching this enjoyed it and, uh, maybe learned something about FSD beta, Cybertrucks or Tesla, but hopefully you didn't learn anything about Cybertruck because I don't know other than what Tesla tells us, right? So only thing they told us is, <coughs> excuse me, that they're, they're testing it, they're, they're crash testing it. So if you haven't watched that video, um, take a look at Tesla's Twitter page and uh, do yourself a favor and go watch that video. Alright guys, thanks for watching this and I hope you have a great rest of your day.